A man may not be on the top of his form, but he can still make himself useful. Before we get into the apps, this is the M2 Pro 2023 version and it's 16 gigs of memory. So a little bit above the base model, but this has served me very well. This is the machine I used to edit all of the videos you guys have watched. So everything is on this Mac. So if you're in the market for a Mac and you don't want to spend a lot of money on the newest, the M2 or the M2 Pro does a pretty good job. So let's get started with the everyday carry essential. So for my browser, I use two apps because just one app isn't enough. So the first one is Safari. Now Safari gets a lot of hate and I don't honestly know why. I love Safari, it works for me and I think the biggest reason why I keep using Safari is because it already has all of my info from my iCloud account so I don't have to add things like my cards or my information it auto fills that even passwords as well I can just use the password app and everything is integrated I use an iPhone so handoff is already integrated into my workflow and it works now the second browser I use is a chromium based browser because some features just work better on chromium based browser and I think the best one in my opinion is brave browser it has integrated ad tracker so you don't have to download ad block it's built in it it actually works I've tested almost every browser out in the market and braves ad block engine is the best it works it just works and another thing I like about brave is because it's chromium based all the extensions on the Chrome web store can be used on Brave as well. And just for a little pizzazz, I, I have the Momentum extension just to complete the setup. Safari plus Brave, you can't really go wrong. It's the best of both worlds. So those are my two browsers, Brave and Safari. For my notes, I'm really a minimalist. All I need is Markdown, a clean, simple UI, and an app that doesn't have bloatware i don't need extra features that i will not use or something that i'll use only once and to be honest i've reviewed a lot of notes app especially even on this channel and i haven't found one that meets all of my requirements but the closest i've gotten is bear and i've made a review on bear so if you want to see everything bear has to offer click the video up here somewhere around there's going to be a link that'll pop up right now click that there are a few missing features that I wish it had, but it's a compromise I'm willing to take over having bloatware and a bunch of extra features that I will never use. And there are sometimes you just want to take down a piece of information, you want to take quick notes, and you don't actually need a whole big notes app for that. For those scenarios, I use Raycast Notes. It functions like a sticky note on Windows. It's like notepad but better. It's very simple. It stays persistent on the screen and it has some formatting capabilities. So for quick notes, I use Raycast notes and for more comprehensive notes, I use Bear. So those two take care of all of my notes taking needs. Productivity is really tricky to measure, but I've narrowed it down to three apps that I think works best when I use them together and helps me do things faster and more efficient. First is Raycast. This is like the Swiss army knife of apps. Arguably the best productivity app for Mac OS. I've made a couple of videos on Raycast on this channel. So I'm not gonna go into too much details about what Raycast does and what it doesn't do. I even compared it to Alfred. So go take a look at that if you're unsure if you wanna get Raycast or Alfred. My advice? get Raycast. Next on the list is Dropover and what this does is it acts like a shelf that lets you store temporarily files, folders, things that you need to copy and move from multiple locations to 
multiple destinations. So drop over, big lifesaver. I use it all the time. And last on the list is Alt Tab, which is a replicator feature that I really miss coming from Windows to Mac OS. When you use the command tab to switch apps for multitasking, all you get is just the app icon. But with Alt Tab, you get a preview of the window when switching. It's one of those things that you don't understand why Mac OS hasn't actually made this a feature. It's a staple for Windows, but to do that on Mac OS, you need an app. Alt Tab is probably the best app to do that. So Raycast, Dropover, Alt Tab. Those are my three top picks for productivity, for making you work faster, more efficient. And honestly, I don't think you need any more than that. So those three, my productivity top three apps. This one is pretty easy. If you don't want to pay the subscription fees of the top guys, Canva and Google Docs work just fine. Canva for designing, creating PDF, reading PDFs, editing PDFs, and Google Docs for your Word documents, for your sheets. Both of them do can get 90% done of what you need to do. And this one is an easy recommendation. Try Canva. I think everybody uses Google Docs at this point, so easy rec. I know you get Pages for free, it's Mac OS, but does anyone actually use those? If you use Pages on Mac OS, actually put down in the comments, I want to know what you use it for and how often you use it. So let me know. For Tax Manager, I think Calendar and Reminders can get you almost 80% of the way done, but I've been testing out two apps, even three apps over the past couple months now, but I find that I keep going back to this one app and it's because the interface is very simple. The widgets on the phone app is probably the best. It doesn't have the AI bells and whistles, but I prefer the way things work with the app. I think it's the cleanest and most user friendly, especially with the phone app. So I find myself going back to things. I've tried Tick Tick. And TikTok is a really good app because it has a lot of functionality. It even has an additional feature where you can take notes as well. So I really like TikTok, but I find myself going back to things. And Todoist was also my other option, which I tried for a while. It worked, but I find that the functionality on the phone app is not as good as it is on things. So for my task manager, I use just one app and it's things. I can get things done with things. Ah. For the longest time I used preview on Mac OS, just click on a video, tap the space bar and you get a preview. And it worked for most videos, but then I started using some codecs that preview wouldn't work or I needed more functionality and preview wasn't cutting it. So I got this app. I don't know how to pronounce it. I just call it INA. So. If you know how to pronounce it, let me know in the comments and I will start calling it the right name. For now, it's INA, double INA, whatever. It's the best, hands down. You can adjust playback speed, you can load captions, you can play almost all the codecs. It's just everything you want in a video player. It's simple, it's clean, it just works. Honorable mention to VLC, OG video player, gone too soon. Dynamic Lake Pro is the latest app I've been testing and it's one of those notch apps that takes advantage of the notch if you have one of those MacBooks that has a notch. So it kind of makes it into like a dynamic island on the iPhone. So it uses that space for useful things like music control or the clock, the weather, calendar. It even lets you store files, folders, and things so you can drag things on there like you do in Dropover to store things and move them into other places as well. It can show you notifications and you can answer calls from the notch. So it's a handy little app that I found myself using a lot more lately. So pretty good app. It's probably the best implementation of the notch apps that I've been testing over the past few months. So that's my everyday app essentials. 
really simple i try to keep it as efficient and productive as possible so let me know in the comments if there's any new app you found here or there are some that you use that you want people to try out so drop me a phone emoji if you want me to do a phone version i think that'd be interesting as well as always i'll see you guys in the next one if you don't know 